everybody, it's Meredith from STEM Activities for Kids. I received a new STEM resource today. It is a set of 75 scratch coding cards from No Starch Press. Um, they sent this to me to review and I'm going to open up the box and show you what's inside. Okay, so I've opened up the box of scratch coding cards. If you haven't used Scratch before, I highly recommend it. It is free to download. You can even use it offline. There's a brief guide to get you started. And then this is what is included. So there's 10 different sets um, or themes in this box. So this is the first set. This is Animate your name card. So each set has a title card and on the back it tells you all the different tasks that are included. Now the cards are numbered at the bottom as you can see there's one, two, three, four, but you don't have to do them in order. So you can just pick a card. Um, this one is make a letter change color when you click it. Um, this one is make a letter turn. Here we have click a letter to play a sound. So the task is on the front. Now you can try the task or if you're stumped or you're new to Scratch, you can flip it over and there's instructions. So it tells you where to go, which code you need to grab, and then anything that you can change. So you can change your um, your the numbers to make um, it turn a different number of degrees and how many times you, you're going to repeat this. And then at the bottom of the cards, there's a tip. Okay, so those are the Animate Your Name cards. Now some of them are more like games. So this will appeal to any, any kid that likes playing video games. They can create um, this race to the finish. There's also a Pong game and a catch game. So I was just looking through the cards and it looks like this catch game, um, the sequence is important. So you're going to have to follow the steps in order and to complete the game. And as before, there's the task on the front, but the steps are very detailed on the back. And so for something like a game, you probably want to follow the steps at least the first time through and then make your modifications. So you can see that each of the cards has an illustration so that you know what, you, what your game should also look like. Um, you can keep score in the game and have bonus points. And then when you get to the end, you can put in a message that you know the game was won. So as I mentioned, there are 10 sets of cards. They're not in, you don't have to complete them in a particular order. But in looking through the cards, the first ones do seem simpler. So if you have kids who have not been exposed to Scratch before, working through them in order might be a good idea. If you have kids who have done Scratch programming, they will likely be able to handle multiple sets in one of your sessions. It does say ages eight and up on the box, but I would say that if your kids have done Scratch before or they are strong readers, um, or even if they're just comfortable using the computer, using the mouse and the keyboard, um, even a six-year-old will be able to do many of these activities, um, maybe with a little bit of a support or in small groups. So anyway, I hope you like them. I'm going to have my own kids try them out, and I will drop that their review um, in the post below. Thanks.